Have you ever wanted a simple way to trigger a message or alarm on your CNC control? The global messaging system is a simple, user-friendly way to build menu-driven triggers and actions inside the CNC control. The global messaging system, known as GMS, has recently been renovated to give the user even more control over their machine than they ever had before. The user can now set up any number of custom messages to track a wide variety of conditions, including I.O., signals, registers, access position, machine state, and pound variables. These conditions can be combined in any way so the user can set up the exact situation to watch for. When that situation actually happens, the machine can simply alert the user or even take specific actions immediately. In addition, anything the global messaging system does is logged, so the user can go back and see the history. The global messaging system has a variety of standard actions it can take, or the user can set up their own custom actions. The standard actions include disabling the control, starting a feed hold, commanding cycle stop or cycle start, creating interrupt, running a custom script, among many others. Once a user starts creating custom actions, nearly anything is possible. This makes it very handy for any sort of custom work the user would want to do. In addition to anything the user sets up, there are some messages that are built right into the control. These helpful messages will alert you if you have an error in your G-code, if the machine is waiting for you to hit cycle start, along with many other things. Let's go over how to configure a coolant low message. Make sure to be in a disabled state by clicking the enable till the button flashes red. Click on configure plugins, global messaging system. Click the plus icon. Name it Coolant Low. Set Action Class to Alarm. Set Action to Disable Software. Our final step is to enter in details. This is what shows up on the message. Now that we have our message set up, we need to set up our condition. Click Edit Conditions. Add a new condition, Condition Signals. Choose Input 0, Low Coolant equals High. Now you're finished, now click the OK button. Next, we'll talk about how to configure an automatic coolant that will turn on automatically when your spindle comes on and automatically turn off when your spindle turns off. Setting up the automatic coolant on. Click the plus icon. Name it Turn Coolant On. Action Custom. Click Customize. New Action Output Signals. Coolant on. Active high. Click edit conditions. Add step output signals. Action spindle. Active high. Finally, click the OK button. Next, let's set up the coolant auto off. Let's make a copy or duplicate of our auto on coolant. Click the paper icon to copy message. Click the copy and change to off. Under customize, change to low. Under conditions, Set to active low. Finally, click OK.
For further assistance or help, please contact us at 573-368-7399 or come visit us at mockmotion.com.